I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some Redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ugh, so freaking cute. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. See you, Jesse. 
Uh, won't be the same without you guys. Ah, buddy. You're gonna make me sad. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, <laughs> too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Food? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas. Is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm.
Oh, whoa. Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Oh, those were the days. Simpler times. This was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere. Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing. I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? You're all adorable. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. I mean, look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. be happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Sugar, nice. Jesse! Well, hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse! 
Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Jesse's gonna help us settle this. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse. <laughs> Woo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run. But nice work. What you looking at, citizen? Uh, just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, uh, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? Doesn't fit. I think it's perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Well, why don't we have both? Oh, well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. What is this for?
Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Rainbow Beacon. It's powered by the Nether Star the Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the Beacon. I love this thing. Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Huh. What a lovely garden. He said cake, she said pie, and then I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? Well, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always?
Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Oh, stupid zombie. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. At least you still remember how to fight. Oh, hey. Hey, I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? Look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? My step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me, your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, come on, my people needed me, it was important. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one before. Speaking of people flaking, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three, Three? Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that. Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on!
Soldiers in the home stretch. Ah, oh, jeez, more of these guys. Jesse takes the lead. Ah, let's see how long that lasts. Man, you're faster than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. You were awesome back there, Patrick. Felt just like old times. Well, not exactly like old times, since I always used to win. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, hey there, llama. Come here, girl. Good llama. You get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. Super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. Mayor Jesse? Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel, am I right? now. What 
was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah. Until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh-oh! Get off the pyramid, quick! <laughs> coming from down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> What do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. 
He knows everything about Prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to meet this guy. I knew you'd be excited. Yes. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <laughs> okay. Come on, you. We have to do something about that... that heck mouth. Well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible and so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure sniffing llama, her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. If it's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. I know that in your head you've got her built up as this big, terrible person, but she can't be that bad. We'll work it out. <laughs> Clearly you haven't met her yet. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. Oh, come on, you. My darling, you came home. You came back. 
Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. Uh, sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. I heard you need a new pet. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. No, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. I uh, know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in fight the bodyguard, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get fire out. it up. I don't like you. I'm not a fan of yours either. We still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, just you! I'm trying to have a conversation here! This whole Champion City thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it, though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh, uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? What did you say? 
No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival! Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? Hope you learned a lesson here, Stella. No one cheats my friends and gets away with it. Yes, I've certainly learned how you deal with people you disagree with. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival. Oh, man. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, you were clearly way in over your head. I had to step in. Yeah, yeah, I guess I was. What is that? Ah! Sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. Oh, no, you don't. Would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. 
Come on, I'll show you the way. <laughs> Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. You still hang out with me, though. Well, yeah, but that's because I knew you when you were still just a nerd in a treehouse. Don't take it personally, dude. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. <gasps> I mean, sup? You push the button. Very, very brave. For noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <sighs> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. Ah, cool names. So what can I do for you today? Desert Temple, Woodland Mansion. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? Uh... 
Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Sup? What are you doing with your hands? I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Well, then I guess we'll take our business elsewhere, right, Petra? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Just, just stroll right on out of here. Oh, wow, Petra, please stop. I'm guessing there are tons of people who know where to find this place. <sighs> That's where you're wrong. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. <laughs> Yes, the empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado, me, and gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, 
It's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, by the way, am I doing a good job playing it cool? Uh, think he thinks I'm cool? I know I was a little awkward at first. Oh, yeah, you've been very cool. Very natural. I'm trying really hard, but I was feeling really good about it back there. Wow. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin's... Ah, mm -mm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. That's awesome, Nerm. Welcome aboard. He says, woohoo. Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists. Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild Radar. isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech Radar. at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Radar. Oh, and ah, sorry. Got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Hey. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but sure. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. <laughs> I couldn't even keep a straight face saying that. Now that's more like it. Agreed. 
Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. blade in hand and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Yeah, I love doing that move. It's the best. Oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah. Let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So, this temple, it's dangerous then? You don't have any sponge in your ears, do you? Yeah, this place is super dangerous. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... The sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples that way. How? Compass. Oh, yeah. Duh. She is. 
Dios. Sure that we have all our limbs? How about we find that structure block? Hmm. Uh, I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Things are creepy. If you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep. Completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like <gasps> I uh I'm gonna need a sec just to Check my enchantments. Yeah. Gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. Wow, it's a good thing you're better at fighting than you are at lying because you are a terrible liar what I am uh, I'm an awesome liar the deceptive uh, deceivers of lie our mountain said hmm. uh, fine fine I thought I was ready for this guys hey I found something uh be right there hey uh Let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? I mean, she's cool. Really? Yeah, and she's a great adventurer. I don't want her to think, um, some has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. I don't get it. It hasn't been particularly hard so far. Yeah, that's because we haven't been into any of the center rooms yet. was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. 
sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. All right, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Sorry, Nurm, but I think Jack's right. There's got to be an explanation for this. See? Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's going to need to run the other way and distract the guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, laser lips! So sorry. Hmm. Oh. Hey, care to explain yourself, Jack? I don't have to explain my. Oh. You're right. I really messed up. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever's left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. Glowing obsidian. So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I, I thought I heard someone. Kofu Kale! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. You know, if you don't mind. But, uh, how do I open the door? Oh, no clue. Why do you think I'm trapped in here? I couldn't figure it out. I'll leave you to it. I've got a good feeling about you in that door. <laughs> Mine. some sort of pattern. Hmm. Dark prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table.
Sea lantern, nice. the tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <laughs> Vars! Jack! Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Vars. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait. How did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. Well, at least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling, I guess. <sighs> Creepy. I feel like this is important, but I don't really know why.
Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nurmi says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin, uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Nurm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... Hmm. Huh? The admin saw there were no more uh -huh. heroes worthy of his challenges. So he left this world until the next great heroes emerged. Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never really existed. Huh. This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. What? Fascinating! <laughs> Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. <laughs> Derm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no. Jesse. Talks? Here they 
Where the structure block goes. 
Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. Think that's really the end of it? Ah, certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey everyone, happy founding day! <laughs> oh, welcome back! We were worried you'd miss it! You're back! Thank goodness! This has... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Might have been a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. The place looks great. Yeah? Yeah, you did a great job, Radar. Wow, thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? It's like I'm always telling people, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. They really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Ugh, thought it was your bad eye. It was. But my bad eye was still at least four times as great as most good eyes. Oh, Jack! I do uh... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. That. Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> 